Good morning and welcome to the 98th podcast of Andy Collier Talk Cricket Memorabilia. Um, so quite a good week this week for bits and pieces that come through. Um, but I missed out a couple of bits last week on the podcast, so I'll go through those first on here. Um, so we have got here is a lovely um, sympathy card signed by Andy Sandham. Actually signed Andrew Sandham. Now, I've never seen Andy or A Sandham sign Andrew before. It's always been A Sandham. Um, so that uh, must be quite a rarity. It's signed to Jeff. Thank you very much. Your kindly expression of helpful sympathy is very gratefully acknowledged, Andrew Sandham. And that must have been when his wife died, probably. Um, probably mid-70s, I think, or late 60s, something like that. I think he died, or she died, quite a lot younger than he did. So, uh, anyway, a bit of a rarity there. Andrew Sandham. Nice uh, Surrey boy. Uh, next one. Ongdale Nitschke. Uh, South Australian, played for Australia twice in the early 30s um, against South Africa. Didn't do brilliantly, but um, I think his top score was 43, I think, or 47, one of the two. Um, this is a late, so slightly later signature. He's tied it up a little bit. It was a bit scruffy before that on his early signatures. So quite pleased to have that. Bit of a rarity in England. So uh, quite pleased with that. Now here is a picture of uh, Mr Nixley just here. In between Ernie Jones and Clem Hill and this is the St Peter's first team against Mr J Travis team in on the 5th of April 1924 5th of April which just happens to be my dad's birthday so there we are um, so he was at school here playing for the first team then went on to play for South Australia obviously an openly left-handed batsman so uh, nice to have a picture of him there uh, so that's quite nice, but um, I don't know if anybody went on to the uh, Lesky's uh, auctions last week. I unfortunately missed out on a Gary Sobers tile, which is number one in the series. And this is number two, which is Colin Keldry. And it's produced by Australian Cricket Society, Canberra Branch. Uh, and the artist is Percy Samuel Winkart with Charna, I think. It must be a Sri Lankan or something. Um, so I've got this one, I've got given to this by my sister's next door neighbour a couple of years ago. And I'm thinking number two in this series must be a lot more, but apparently there's only one more, which is the Gary Sobers tile. And unfortunately I missed out on that, went for $160 or $50. Um, so there we are. It's made by, um, who's it made by? H&R Johnson, made in Australia. A pretty fragile tile, I think. So how many of those are around, I don't know. So it's... Um, Nice tile to have anyway. Got the ACS on there as well. So um, perhaps next time. Uh, so this week, what's turned up this week? Um, well, the other thing that turned up the other week was uh, this Sydney Cricket Ground Members Medallion from 1955-6 season, which is quite a nice colourful thing. Not quite as uh, nice as the earlier ones, I have to say. The enamel's not quite so nice, but um, still a nice little thing there for that one. So this week that turned up, what's turned up this week? We've got a CB Fry signed postcard there by R. Thiel, um, German. So uh, quite a nice uh, recognisable signature there and also a nice recognisable postcard there. Um, and the other thing that turned up was this Surrey sheet here from 1950. So there's a, I've obviously got quite a few of the uh, ordinary ones, but um, there's a couple of rare ones on here. Alan Brazier is at the bottom here. And Jeff Kirby, a couple of rare players. They only played about 20 or 30 games each there, I think. So you've got the general ones. And mine's quite a rare signature as well, but um, I've got a, one of him. So you've got Sturridge there and Peter May, uh, Jim Laker, Parker, Lor um, Laurie Fishlock, Bedser, Constable, Whitaker. Um, so yeah, quite pleased to get those two. Um, but not very much money either, actually. So it's quite nice. Pleased with that. So anyway, it was a nice uh, surprise this week when I saw uh, Emma Ranukanu. She was now the new face of Tiffany, which made me get my little Tiffany box out here. And in that little box is a Tiffany & Co pouch with a miniature 
Swiss Army knife in there, silver Swiss Army knife. 1998 this one for... Um, John Paul Getty's 11, so I'm assuming that the players that played in that game got a little um, present. And this is uh, a Swiss Army knife done by Tiffany. So we've got scissors in there, um, knife, and uh, I think it's a nail file, the other one. So quite a nice little set there. Um, got Getty's emblem on the front there. And also Tiffany on the back. A Swiss cross on there. So... Uh, all else is in there. A couple other bits. It's got Tiffany and Co. Uh, and the silver mark on there. 925, 750. So nice little present there for one of the team who ever played for in that year, 1998. Perhaps we can find that out. Um, so quite happy with that little thing. And Emma's now a Tiffany girl. So uh, she's on her way to making her next few million quid. So anyway, that's that. That's quite nice. Um, that's all we've got there for that one. So anyway, behind me this week, I've got uh, well, I've got a couple of bits of New Zealand actually that I've bought in the cup last week or so, which haven't turned up yet. This is a photograph of 1927 side, and um, we've got Her Royal Highness Princess Mary in the front there, which is here, and you've got who we got there? We've got Dempster and uh, Blunt. Where else have we got Alcott, Page. Um, we've obviously got Lowry in the front there, so this is one of their, on their first tour, New Zealand 1927. Not quite sure where that's, that's um, taken, but probably some uh, palace or somewhere, I should think. So quite a nice uh, 1927 New Zealand picture there. Quite pleased with that. That's going to stay there, hopefully. Yep, OK. Another thing behind me here is uh, 2005 Ashes winning paperweight. This is a limited edition paperweight, a glorious victory, England 2, Australia 1. So probably the, the most, well, the best, as far as I'm concerned, test series that's ever been played. Exciting right from the first ball. So that's quite a nice little paperweight, crystal paperweight, Swarovski. Um, so quite nice. Shines nicer when the sun comes on it. So uh, well pleased with that. So that's behind me today. So that's about as much as we can do this week. Um, hopefully there'll be a few more things turn up next week and we can uh, go again. So two more to the hundred. So hopefully I'm going to be able to get on to Tilbury Docks and do one from there. But uh, we'll wait and see. Anyway, all the best. See you next week. Cheers.